Okay, so we're getting ready to install this seat, uh, maybe for good. So uh, we've got some of the uh, seat bushings that we ordered in, and uh, we're just going to install them on this seat. And because this is the, uh, it's an 80, it has the older style, similar to what the Beatles used for the uh, front bushing. But anyways, let's uh, I'll flip this seat over, and then I'll show you how these get installed. Okay, so these are the bushings that we're going to install. The reason, uh, basically, these seats have nothing on them. Um, and the reason you might need to replace them on your seats is if you find that the seats kind of rock back and forth and they're, they're not securely uh, in place, it's probably because these bushings are either worn or, in this case, completely missing. So uh, the newer style seats will have sort of a rubber centerpiece, but this is, uh, in this car, it uses this older style, like I mentioned, which uh, I think are similar to the uh, air-cooled Beetles. But uh, we will, uh, I'll show you how these install. Basically, this one, you can see the two uh, side pieces. This one, you can see it has a little bit of a tab, so that goes towards the door. And uh, it, they're quite easy to install. It's, uh, there's a little slot here, and it basically just slides on like this. Just have to lift that up as you're sliding it on. And it snaps into place just like that. So that's that side done. We'll flip this over, install the other side, and then I'll move inside to the car to show you how we install this uh, third one. Okay, so just inst quickly installing the other side. I uh, didn't quite mention it, but they have little slots on the top of them, so that's how you know which side goes up. This one doesn't have the little uh, tab, but you just kind of can push on it from the inside as you're in putting it on. It should just slide on like this. There we go. Done. Okay, so the way that this one fits in is basically, uh, you can see there's a slot here. The way you'll know whether you're using this style or the rubber style is if you've got a little slot on here, you'll be using the newer rubber style. But as you can see, I do not have a rubber slot. So uh, this is the style that fits on here. And it basically just slides down onto here like this. There's a slot down here. It should fit into you like that. And then it just snaps on, just like that. Driver's seat installed. Try and get some gauges working in the car. You know I flip flop back and forth on what gauges that I'm going to be using. Uh, at this point, I think I'm going to try and get this set working. Um, it just looks a little cleaner in the car, I think. So to do that, uh, after doing some research, basically this plug plugs into the back here, but nothing happens. And uh, I've discovered that basically on this uh, 1980 model, the wiring order on this plug is different than whatever year this gauge comes out of which is a, a newer model so the first thing I need to do is uh, basically rearrange these wires so that they uh, line up with the correct corresponding place on the uh, back of the terminal here so what I did discover is that uh, after doing some research and I was gonna buy a special tool I actually ordered one just a cheap one but I don't even need it because with this plug-in um, with just a small little screwdriver like what I have here you can actually just open the back of this up like this there's two little tabs on the side and then with this open 
these wires will just uh, uh, pull out like this and then I can put them into the proper order. So there is a couple that are missing, so I'm going to have to uh, wire them in. Um, but uh, basically that's what I'm gonna do now. So let's get to it. Okay, so that's been kind of somewhat unsuccessful. I did manage to get the clock sort of working, the high beam working, uh, the high beam indicator, I mean, but uh, other than that, that's all that's uh, currently working. So, unfortunately, I'm not sure if this gauge pod even functions properly to begin with. I think I've got the wiring correct, but uh, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I was hoping at least the turn signal flasher would work, but uh, like I said, just the clock and the, basically the high beam is all that really seems to be functional. So my speedo cable I need to get replaced as well. Um, so I didn't even, I haven't attempted that, but uh, uh, anyways, I'm going to take a break from this and uh, move on to something else now. So. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to work on is uh, headlights. So this may be a little bit controversial. Uh, I picked up these headlights on uh, eBay. They're actually uh, designed to go onto a uh, Jeep. Uh, YJ, TJ, whatever the latest J or the uh, kind of original Jeep is. And uh, they are LED lights. So the reason I went with these is I'm going to be able to use them as uh, turn signals as well. So uh, let's get these uh, old ones removed and see uh, if we can get these ones working. Okay, so this has not gone uh, as smoothly as it should have. It seems like every electrical issue I deal with this car uh, does not go smoothly. But uh, I've got everything hooked up now. I am having one issue. Uh, the turn signals are only working when the lights are on. And I'm not sure why that is. If it's, uh, I don't think it has anything to do with these lights themselves. Um, because if I supply power to yellow LED ring, it works just fine. Like I said, it works with the lights on. So I'm not sure if it's my flasher module or what it is, but, and they're also blinking faster, faster than they should. So anyways, I'll give you a quick look at what they look like um, with the lights on. I'm not sure it's kind of light out right now, but uh, give you an idea how they work anyways. Low beam. High beam and driving lights. So, anyways, I'm pretty happy with that. I, like I said, I've still got a little bit of troubleshooting uh, to do. I'm not sure how. Uh, I might just hook up these driving lights so that they are on a uh, switched power wire. So when you turn the key on, they come on. That way, the signal lights will work automatically as well. I'm also going to do a little more research and just see if I can. Uh, Maybe this, like the flasher module or something. So, um, anyways, if you've got any recommendations, 
please leave them in the comments below.